Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I'm your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop, and today I am here with another random review, which means I randomly take a movie and review it. How about that? Well, let's see what we are blessed with this time, shall we? How about that? It's actually a good movie, because I'm here to review the 1998 crime drama, American History X. Let's do it. After being released from prison, a white supremacist named Derek has changed his outlook on life. When Derek gets back home, he realizes his brother has taken up his old ways and has joined the gang of skinheads. The former neo-Nazi risks his life by getting out of the gang and tries to talk his brother into changing his thoughts as well. So what did I think of American History X? I thought it's a powerful, well-made crime drama. The film sucks you in right from the beginning with its black and white flashback opening showing us the violent act Derek committed to wind up in prison. This is an uncomfortable movie to watch as it's full of serious and tough material but it's certainly honest and compelling. It's also worth seeing Derek's story of redemption, seeing him turn from a detestable character to a changed man, and the flashbacks from prison of what made him change his ideals. Much of the film obviously centers around racism, with some intense scenes including a basketball game with the skinheads against African Americans for the right to the court, a family dinner table scene when their mom brings home a Jewish boyfriend, and beating up foreign employees at a grocery store. There's a violent and emotional ending to the film as well. American History X stars Edward Norton giving a career-defining performance as Derek Vineyard, the former skinhead who doesn't want to see his brother follow the same path he went down in the past, Edward Furlong as Danny, Derek's younger brother getting in with the wrong crowd of people, Beverly D'Angelo as Doris, the mother of the boys who's not happy with their views but is afraid to say anything, Faruza Bulk as Stacy, Derek's former girlfriend who is shocked when he says he wants out of the gang. Stacy Keach as Cameron Alexander, the leader of the skinhead gang that Derek confronts and threatens. And Avery Brooks as Dr. Bob Sweeney, Derek's former English teacher and now Danny's principal who isn't impressed with the student's book report on Mein Kampf and orders him to write a report on his brother. While you might need to take a shower after viewing, American History X is a profound movie every film fan should watch. I'm going to give it the rating of A-List Approved. That's right, it gets the A-List. Seal of Approval. Alright, well that's the show. I'll be back with another review tomorrow. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. You can like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West Drew Baylist. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter or the Instagram at West A List. Until next time, Troop out.